The most significant development in gold recovery in recent years has been the introduction of the carbon in pulp process, which was developed by Mintech in close collaboration with the mining industry. In this process and other appropriate processes, like the carbon in solution process, Activated carbon or charcoal is used to adsorb the gold directly from the pulp in large tanks. In these processes the carbon is removed by screening the pulp. The gold is then washed or eluted from the carbon using a solution of cyanide and caustic soda and subsequently recovered via electrolysis in an electro-winning cell or by zinc precipitation. South Africa took the lead in the development of an integrated method for the treatment of the whole ore. This entailed a multidisciplinary approach and involved the design of methods of pumping, screening and agitation of the carbon, methods for the electro-winning of the gold and regenerating the carbon for future use. With every adsorption cycle in the carbon in pulp process, activated carbon loses some of its ability to adsorb gold owing to contamination of organic materials. Thermal regeneration decomposes these materials and restores the original activity of the carbon, thereby maintaining its efficiency and minimizing the loss of soluble gold. The Minfern is a novel piece of equipment for the regeneration of activated carbon which uses direct resistive heating. Contaminated carbon granules contain a high amount of moisture. Prior to regeneration, this moisture needs to be reduced. The carbon granules are therefore primarily dried in a hot air pre-drying unit. The partially dry yet still contaminated material is then fed into the feed storage container located on top of the Minfern furnace. Optimum temperature is maintained by regulating the temperature of the bed itself rather than using the thermocouples to control the temperatures of the chambers surrounding the heating elements. The energy-efficient Minfern furnace is smaller in size than equivalent kilns and batch-operated furnaces, yet operates with fewer moving parts, thereby lowering maintenance cost. In the Minfern, the temperature required for regeneration is generated within the carbon by means of an electrical current, which is passed through the carbon bed rather than externally. Since the electrical resistance of carbon bears an inverse relationship to its temperature, the resistance falls and the current increases. The resulting current causes the temperature of the carbon granules to rise. Each carbon granule contains myriads of macro, meso and micro pores. One gram of the material has a total surface area of about a thousand square meters. The electrical resistance of a carbon bed is strongly related to its temperature. The current through the furnace can be used as an indicator of the temperature. On cold startup, the discharger is off and the furnace inventory is stationary. A fixed voltage is then applied across the axis of the carbon bed. The resulting current causes the carbon bed temperature to heat up. As the temperature increases, the resistance within the carbon decreases and hence the current increases. The current and temperature are allowed to increase up to a predetermined set point at which the discharger is activated, releasing hot, regenerated carbon from the bottom of the furnace, simultaneously allowing cooler and slightly moist carbon to be gravitated into the top of the furnace. This counters the current increase, the resistance increases and the current decreases. The discharge rate is regulated so as to keep the current constant. This ensures a constant and instantaneous match between the carbon throughput and the power required for maintaining a constant temperature profile. The discharge mechanism turns on and off as the current set point is reached, allowing the system to produce regenerated carbon at the design capacity of the Minfern. When the Minfern is compared with a conventional rotary kiln, there appears to be no difference in the performance of the two kilns. Comparing the supply to the furnace and the dryer with the supply to the kiln, the following observations can be made. On average, a conventional kiln uses 35% more power per kilogram of carbon than the Minfern. Benefits of the Minfern include lower energy consumption, 
about 0.6 kilowatt hour per kilogram of dry carbon for the minfern or a total of about 1 kilowatt per kilogram of carbon if a pre-dryer is added. More efficient energy utilization, virtually 100% transfer into carbon. Maintenance costs are low. A simplistic design with fewer components means less wear and requires less frequent replacement. The refractory lining is more suited to high temperatures, which in turn ensures longer furnace life, and the machine can be stripped and rebuilt within a single shift. Fewer carbon losses. As there is no tumbling action, there is minimal attrition of carbon. Minfern produces a high quality product. Activity of 90 to 100% of virgin carbon from contaminated carbon initially at 40% activity. Mintech implements stringent ISO quality control standards. All Minferns are manufactured to the ISO 9001 standard of quality, which guarantees that the equipment will perform to the design specification. Mintech also complies with ISO 14001 for sound environmental management and the ISO 18001 standard for maintaining a good occupational health and safety management system. Mintech's Minfirm product range includes a 3, 25, 42, 75 and 125 kilogram per hour Minfirm. Minferns can be supplied to suit any special requirements that clients may need. Minferns are regularly installed and commissioned at various sites internationally, thereby introducing this innovative world-class technology globally. Minfern, maximizing gold recovery and minimizing gold losses. Mintech, specialists in mineral and metallurgical R&D and technology.